Hello, my name is Jimmy Bonero, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you could scan and send documents using Quick Capture Pro into Office 365. In the menu section, I'll expand Send to Office 365 so we can see a few options I've already set up. The menu labels are customized for our sample workflows. There are three options here. One is for sending to the Documents folder in the SharePoint team site. Another option is for sending to an email destination using the Exchange capabilities and the other is for sending the scanned documents into OneDrive. First, I'll expand our Documents option where there is already a folder in SharePoint that serves as an electronic filing cabinet for customer documents. Within Quick Capture Pro, I can right-click on Customers and choose Set Active to make this the active workflow. Here, I can enter the business information about the customer for this document. In Quick Capture Pro, we can use a Twain or ISIS scanner to add a scanned image, or we can browse by selecting a file, which I'll do in this demonstration. Once the file is opened, we're able to see a preview of the page. To send this document to the Customer folder in SharePoint, I will choose the customer name for this document and the type of document that it is. Once we make the selections, I can send the document by clicking on the green Send arrow, and it is sent to the Customers folder inside of SharePoint. The next thing I'll do is open Office 365 and go to the Customers folder. As you can see, the document has been added to a folder specific to the customer. A feature of SharePoint in Office 365 is the ability to search for information about the content of the documents within the document library. AutoStore has the ability to send scanned images as text searchable PDF files. Let's search for the invoice number that was actually on a previously scanned image. When I click Search, you can see that SharePoint has found the document. SharePoint in Office 365 does take some time to crawl through the documents, but once completed, it will be easier to find your scanned documents when they are text searchable. Next, we'll email a document from Quick Capture Pro using the Exchange feature of Office 365. To do that, I'll move my browser out of the way, and in Quick Capture Pro, I'll expand the Exchange menu, right-click Send to Email, choose Set Active, and now this becomes the active workflow. I'll select the same document we used previously. Again, we can acquire a scanned image using a Twain or ISIS scanner. Here, I'll enter the email address, subject, and message to send. And when I'm ready to send the document, I click on the green send arrow, and the document is on its way. Inside of the Outlook web app, that email message is here in my sent items folder as if I had sent the document. Because with AutoStore, it is possible to impersonate the Exchange user. In Office 365, I'll navigate into OneDrive. Currently, I have a Shared with Everyone folder and nothing else. In our last example, we'll create a folder for AutoStore files that will serve as a one-stop collection for scanned documents. In Quick Capture Pro, I'll open our sample file. We'll expand the OneDrive menu and set AutoStore files as the active workflow. Enter a file name and send the document. Going into Office 365, the AutoStore Files folder was created automatically, so it didn't need to be created beforehand. This demonstration showed a few examples of how AutoStore could send documents into Office 365, such as SharePoint Sites, Exchange Email, and OneDrive. For more videos about other notable solutions technologies, visit videos.smartmfp.net. I hope this video has been informative, and until next time, thanks for watching.